Hello guys, welcome to my channel at Easy Surveys, where I make survey practices easier and educative. Here in this video training, I'll be showing you all on how to uh, generate contour in another dimension using Golden Sofa, alright, version 20 in the course of this video. So you are going to be needing a set of data which basically is your spot height so your spot height is expected to be tabulated in this format all right so this is a spot height data i'll be using in the course of this video make sure it's tabulated on either of these formats name or description nothing's eastings and heights especially the height and the x and y the eastings and the nothings okay so and your data is expected to be saved as .csv on excel so you come to file come to save as okay then you choose the folder where you want your job to go so i'll be choosing my youtube folder so it's actually on my youtube folder so i'm just going to choose this so it's already on csv then if yours is not on csv you come to save as type right then you scroll down to csv comma delimited then you click on save so here i'm just going to replace since i already have it so when you are done saving your data csv you close your excel sheet all right then you can now launch to your sofa okay so the beauty of following me on this channel is i give you the basic to the pro level all right so you won't have to miss out on anything at all therefore i already have a template i use for my work on generating contour maps, 3D surface, or whatsoever I want to do with the Golden Sofa software. Okay, so I have this template here. However, if you are in need of this template, maybe you don't want to start afresh in creating templates for yourself, you can join my WhatsApp group through the link under the video description. All right, so you are going to see a WhatsApp link there. Join the group and make your request. The template not the software the templates will be given to you freely okay if you are in need of the software terms and condition is applied thank you so this is the template i'll be using here so you click if you have a template you click on it if you do not have a template you click on new plot all right do we get that however i have a template i'll click on my template and click on open so when you open your software work environment all right you come to grid above okay grid data you click on that therefore these are the different interpolation methods okay Kriegin method is the best statistical interpolation methods recommended all right however you can try on all the interpolation methods so you can go ahead and check your textbooks to know what these different interpolation methods is all about the advantage and the disadvantage However, in the course of this training video, I'll be going with the Kriegin method. So you click on that, then you go to browse to choose your spot height data. You navigate to the folder where you saved your spot height data. Okay, so it's under my YouTube and I'm going to open, then I'm just going to see it. So this is the spot height data, then you click on open. So here, the X should tally with the Eastings column. So I'm going to choose the Eastings column. The Y should tally with the Northings, it's already there. Why the Z should tally with the height, and that is just it. You can choose to view data from here directly on Excel. So to know if you are confused, what the column for each is all about. All right. Then when you are done with that, you can check the statistics of your interpolation. Okay, so here you can view your statistics. Then you can come to file to save. Okay, as text file to print as additional uh, appendix to your report. However, I'll not be needing this for now. So the next thing is to click on next. So therefore, it's going to show you some information, the variogram and chart, okay, of your uh, data. So this is very beautiful about this uh, version of uh, Golden Software. All right. So if you're in need of any information here, you can choose to, you know, snipe and uh, add to your report. Then you click on next. So you can see these are the beautiful report it's giving you about, about your data then you click on next then next okay 
then this is where your output grid is going to be going so you should note that so it's going to my youtube folder all right and it's saved as dot grd which is the grid so the next thing is to click on finish so it's generating my grid report already so this grid has been created so you click on ok if you want to save your grid report you can come to file then save all right then you can choose test format okay then you can save this and it is going under the folder of interest there you can now cancel so therefore this is the contour that is generated directly okay it's generated directly in case you can see your own popping up on the screen maybe if it is uh blank you can now come to contour here click on that then you choose the generated grid report under the folder if you can't find your folder you come to your desktop or you navigate to the folder of interest all right then you choose the grid when you choose the grid you click on open you are going to see your contour generated okay so this is contour you can choose to edit the contour interval or whatsoever okay let me drag this down so you can choose to edit this therefore you can choose to edit this okay by coming to levels so this is contour interval here you can make it one you can make it two you can make it three depending on what you want so you can see it's becoming more a clustered together so you can choose to use your color scale you can choose to edit and do whatsoever you want to do you can choose to show the minor contour levels all right so you can see so that is just how to generate contour so for you to export this to AutoCAD, I am going to be dropping a video link for that under the video description. So go ahead and check how to export this contour to uh, AutoCAD, okay, directly. Therefore, I want to add some other features to this contour, okay. So how to do that, I want to add the peaks and depressions. I'm going to show you what that is all about. So only Golden Software version 20 and above have these particular features so this is what i mean to add peaks and depression you click on the contour generated you right click then you go to add to map okay then you cannot see peaks and depressions you click on that then you choose the spot height grids okay the grids that have been generated earlier you click on that then you click on open so this is what grids and depression means so you can see this simply means areas that are shallow, areas that are high, all right? Then you cannot choose to add another set of information on your contour that has been generated, which is the vector, okay, the vector grid. You click, make sure you, your, your contour you generated is, is clicked on, you right click, go to add to map, then you can see grid vector, you click on that, then you choose the grid that has been generated, then you click on open. So. This arrow is showing you the flooded part of this uh, this area, this terrain. So you can see the arrow going in different directions. So it is actually showing that this place is going to be flooded. It's going to be clustered with water. This place is going to be clustered with water. There won't be a free flow of water here and other regions like that. Okay. You can choose to add uh, a 3D surface on top of this uh, contour as well by right clicking going to add to map so you can see different things you can do here so i'm just going to add 3d surface then choose this all right then click on open so this is now showing us a more better visualization of this area okay showing us a more better visualization so i'm just going to change it to a color a material color that is best you know suitable for representation i'm just going to choose a rainbow so you can see these areas are high so let me just zoom to select it so here you can see that this part of the terrain is high the red part is high okay this place is a little bit high this place is the normal level of the ground why these regions they are the lowest and the deepest part of the terrain so that is how you can generate 
this kind of contour map all right if you want to present your contour map you can generate this kind of map okay so you can come to the map content here and choose to remove some information like the 3d surface maybe you do not need it you can come here and delete it so you are just going to have your peaks and depressions as well as the grid vector and the contour itself so this is how to produce contour in more better presentable format all right so if you want to know how to add this test all right this certification and other information on this map check under the video description you are going to see a video that is going to guide you it is the same format on adding all this information additional information on your contour map the only thing you can find or do with that version of sofa is all this i have shown you all right so you can choose to add the uh scale bar by right clicking okay you come to add to map then you can scroll down to scale bar all right then you add that to your to your map all right so that is just how to add scale bar if you want to add the true notes in case let me just quickly show you you will come to this plus sign here the point symbol then you click on this then you come to the map legend all right then you choose this particular uh then you come to select you select the uh you select the feature then you come down to symbol you can see symbol here then you scroll to see any better true not arrow you are interested in you like all right then you can change the color to the color of interest so i'm just going to so i'll just change that to blue then you can increase then that is just how to produce contour all right so uh in subsequent times i'm going to show you how to uh come about this form of 3d surface as well on uh on sofa all right so this is what i'm talking about here so this is a 3d surface of the same terrain so you can try that out on your own or drop your opinion under the comment section if you want me to drop a full training on this okay so you can see this is a 3d surface map of the same terrain and this looks way more beautiful as well all right so either you can go with the first one or you can go with this so drop your opinion under the comment section of this video let me know if you need me to drop uh, a full training on this as well so you can actually go on either of the two okay thank you for watching please if you are yet to subscribe on this channel please do so now and turn on your notification to keep getting first and tutorial from this channel freely thank you i hope to see you again